also were you on any social media platforms what would you no ma'am i'm not on so i'm totally detached from social media in this that one year of the most important thing that ha huh, that is the most important uh, thing that students need to realize that takes away a lot of your time and yes, energy and it's waste it's good for it's of no use right that is uh, yes, one thing that uh, students who are aspiring to need 2025 should take away from you hi vidipta how are you doing i'm doing nice ma'am how are you doing ma'am i'm doing good no my name is shalini somshekar i teach botany and i'm like super delighted to be talking to you today uh from Thank your you name ma'am. i assume you're from uh, west bengal right yes ma'am yes ma'am could you please tell me a little bit about yourself what was your score and uh, how much was your rank my score uh, for neat which 2024 is 630 and my rank is 47000 the rank that i could not <laughs> even imagine so mm. it came out to 7868 properly and uh, from the previous years all the history i thought my rank would be 17000 around 17000 but mm. it came as for 7000 so it's in this state it's uh, quite doubtful for me to get a government medical college for west bengal so right i understand uh, was this your first attempt or uh... no it was my second attempt second attempt Okay what was your uh, score in the first attempt it was 537 537 okay yes. so it's improved by a 100 almost yes, around the 100 uh, marks okay so uh, which batch had you enrolled for uh, um, deep yakin need english 2024 okay okay can you tell me some things that you changed in your preparation that you had not done in your first attempt and some changes that you made in your second attempt that worked for you in my first attempt i didn't used to practice mcqs randomly that i had changed or i had realized in my uh, in preparation of that second attempt uh, mm-hmm. this was the all, all this big change that helped me in scoring this much and the second change that i used to write i didn't used to write while uh, while i was studying anything but in the second attempt when i was studying i used to write side by side so that i can memorize it well or i can memorize it like for like for many days for a long time that's what uh, these are the two changes that helped me for this second attempt just writing uh, in all of yes, the ma'am. subjects in all the yes, four ma'am. subjects yes ma'am so you would simultaneously make notes and that helped you remember better yes okay, ma'am okay. that's what we insist students to do all the time but somehow they don't do it and they don't get the re- desired results Also, um, this year in the NEET, there's been a lot of confusion. Some people are claiming that their OMR, according to the OMR, the score is something, and what they saw in your uh, um, the card that you get, the marks card, the result card that you get in your score card, the score is different. So, was yours matching? Like what was expected according to your yes, OMR? It's the same. It's totally matching, ma'am. Okay, okay. Um, and uh, which, according to you, is the most challenging subject for you? for me in it was 2024 was physics the first few questions of physics was really challenging and i found that to be much uh, to be not much a bit difficult for me to fit to get to the solution at the first attempt but uh, gradually i was uh, able to do all the solutions should say so since you mentioned you're a dropper and you had enrolled for the akin neat english batch I assume your day would start. I mean, the classes would start around ten o'clock and go on till mid evening, right? So yes, early ma'am. evening or uh, late afternoon it would go on. What was your routine like? Um, I used to see the recordings. I uh, I really used to attend uh, all the live classes. So, okay. So I used to see all the recordings in two x mode or one point seven five x mode. So it uh, to it helped me to cons. Um, It may save a lot of time. Like doing the, I thought live doing the live classes can uh, can consume a lot of time. Like like being a dropper, I use uh, I have to prepare a lot. For, I have to all uh, do all those reading and do the MCQs and all. So I thought it would be time consuming for me to do the all the live classes. So I used to attend the uh, rec- the recorded classes. My day started from seven thirty. For seven thirty a.m. to nine, then I the I would go through all my uh, those those breakfast and all the brunch and all, and used to sit for the uh, sit um, sit for the doing MCQs. 
Mm. Was for uh, I used to do the MCQ for one hour, nine to, from uh, ten to eleven, and and from eleven o'clock. Sometimes I used to do the live class for botany or zoology. Mm-hmm. Uh, because i didn't take in notes for that botany or zoology and uh, and the ma'am that mentioned extra uh, or i found that extra that is not an ncert i uh, i used to note it down behind uh, beside the pages or that respective topic uh, that's what mm-hmm. and for for the evening i used to that is to start from 4:30 pm uh, to at least 9 pm and a break of one uh, one hour i had to had the dinner and mm-hmm. start for two hours as usual and okay and uh, apart from the dpps uh, that you got in the yakin batch would you refer to any other source for practice of mcqs mtgs and adi hunter the two books rather okay. than the module and the dpps just to help me Mm-hmm. so most students uh, struggle because there are a lot of examples they have to remember in both botany and zoology in chapters like animal kingdom plant kingdom biological classification and all of that is there any specific strategy that you followed that helped you memorize these examples and specifics better i used to do all the tricks that help that help me remember and i used to practice them a lot i used to write them day and night Mm-hmm. and that helped me to memorize all these examples of uh, without leaving anyone okay so you repeated it multiple times that yeah. so that, that helped me remember. to memorize all those very nicely mm-hmm. nice so what about physics and chemistry you have certain numericals to solve and the most mm-hmm. students issue is that they do not find sufficient time in an uh, in the exam you have the exam for 3 hours how exactly did you split the time for each individual subject what was the strategy that you followed there first at first i attempted biology i started botany mm-hmm. it took almost botany and zoology both took uh, both took almost 30 minutes or less than 30 minutes they took and combined, this year the chemistry and zoology, zoology combined took less than 30 combined minutes less than 30 minutes this oh, year okay. this year chemistry uh, was a bit calculative but i put uh, but at the time i have put a, said all the calculations behind to do at the last that's mm-hmm. why the time i have taken for chemistry was 45 40 minutes to 45 minutes because i have uh, put aside all the numericals uh, to do at last so, so that i can do it very calmly and i would not commit any mistake and mm-hmm. for physics uh, it was bit calculative or uh, and it had theories too 50 50 percent you can consider it so it also took uh, almost one hour and so you hour always hour. attempt biology or botany Sorry, zoology botany. first and then chemistry and then, and then you do the direct theory theoretical questions mm-hmm. first and then you move on to your numericals and then do physics is this the yes, same ma'am. strategy that you followed for the mock test also did you yes, take ma'am. any mock test yes ma'am for physics wala i took all, i have given all the mock tests okay okay so would you say how, how much would you say it has helped you in your preparation help me it uh, from the mock test i would uh, at the time i realized the mistakes or the mistakes i had uh, i have committed or or my weak points uh, where i can't remember the for example an example or a theory i would uh, i recognize this from the mock tests that helped me a lot chill in my preparation also keep a timer when you took the mock test it had the time actually i give i have given all the mock tests live so it was okay, not okay. problematic for me to keep a timer have you also practiced doing using the omr sheets yes ma'am omr hmm. sheet okay okay very nice is there anything that you want to tell droppers this year like what are things that they should do uh, in order should, to maximize their uh, score they should follow proper timetable firstly and they should have the proper dedication in their studies that i want to crack it or, or i have to achieve that and they have to study well they have to give mock tests they have to recognize all the weak points they are having or uh, and not to say they and this is have to analyze their own strengths and weaknesses yes ma'am that is That's one right. very important point also it's it's very easy to say that you have to stay dedicated you have to stay very disciplined and follow things every day 
is there something of course as humans we all have our bad days right some days you're super yeah. motivated to study and on some days you don't feel like it you just don't feel like it either you're overwhelmed or it's like very saturated you don't feel like studying at all unless you study on such days you'll not be able to do good in your exams what would you do on such days how would you push yourself out of bed and take yourself to the books on those on those i completely switch off from studies i have not study until my mind says now you go and sit you go sit and study i'll not study until my mind says that go and study because studying at that moment will not gain me anything will not give me anything and i'll not gain uh, studying that time and i'll and i can focus properly on the time and my study that uh, that's more important at that time so i think it's better to switch off from that moment until Uh, until we desire to uh, get back to studies then for uh, the problem, to that but the problem would be a few hours should not extend to days and weeks and then yes. you lose complete track of uh, what is happening so as long as you're dedicated you're having one day one bad day it's okay to take an off on such days and be a little yes, more ma'am. kind to yourself right and, yes ma'am uh, in whatever duration of time that you studied in specifically like uh, you said in the mornings you used to solve mcqs in the evening again you would solve ex- mcqs there are a lot of distractions how would you keep yourself focused all the distraction did disturb me for a moment for a day uh, from the day one i had started preparing for my second attempt and mm-hmm. it's and it has come from my inner self that you don't get focused on a distraction you just get focused on what you were studying what you are doing at the moment because mm-hmm. distractions will be everywhere in that exam hall uh, i may have some distractions but the distractions should not bother you i shouldn't be bothered by distractions i think that that helped me a lot in my studies and all as long as you are like super committed to your goal and you want to see yourself succeed i think every distraction will move away by itself right unless yes, you have that commitment you will not get Otherwise, yes, you will get I affected, think. obviously. Right, right. And um, mm, yeah. Um, how would you de-stress yourself when you're feeling a little overwhelmed? Like some students have to... some hobby to distract them off of studies. Like they paint for a little while, or they do some artwork, or there's some sport that they enjoy that they play for half an hour or something. to take their mind off of studies because we understand it can get a little overwhelming is there something that you did i used to study um, i used to read story books that helped me a lot in in the what to say in those over overcoming the, the small distraction i may have in st- in studying and i can't study for more than 1.5 hour maximum i can study for 1.5 hour i have to take a break for 10 to 15 minutes at least in the between so i used to st- i used to study story books that helped me so you read story books for yes ma'am that is in between yes, ma'am okay okay very nice your mother looks very proud behind <laughs> thank you ma'am i'm so my mother is sleeping just must be so happy that's your sister no that's my brother my cousin oh there was a lady no she was my mother and the that's small boy was my cousin Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Also, were you on any social media platforms? What would you? No, ma'am. I'm not on. So I'm totally detached from social media. In this that one year, that is the most important thing. That, ah, huh, that is the most important uh, thing that students need to realize. That takes away a lot of your time and yes, energy, and it's waste. It's good for. It's of no use, right? That is uh, yes, one thing that. Uh, students who are aspiring for NEET 2025 should take away from you all right um if there's anything else that you'd like to share then you can no. share um from so not no, no such things i want okay so the akin neet english batch has helped you yes ma'am that has helped me a lot in preparations mm-hmm. okay All right, uh, Bidita. Thank you so much for your time. Thank We you, wish ma'am. you all the best. Hopefully, all of these NTA controversies will get resolved, and hopefully, you will get to join your dream medical college in West Bengal itself in a government seat. All right. Um, thank you so much. It was lovely you, talking ma'am. to you.